Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and today I'm going to share with you more layouts from my Seasons of Stash Summer Kit and the leftovers of this kit because next month we'll be moving on to another season. Please check out Jeannie and the other wonderful ladies that are doing this series to see what kits they're creating and what layouts they are making. Here is my first layout. It's called Melbourne Cup 2023. I have got a photo covered because I haven't got permission to share the photo. You may remember from my last layout share this is one of the pages where I had a layout idea from the scraps I had left over. I decided to find some photos that would match so I could finish this layout off and I'm pretty happy with how it's turned out. I've got little bits and pieces in here just to add some interest to the flowers. I have got some more fussy cutting here to add to my main cluster. All I need to do is add my journaling on here which is just talking about what we did for Melbourne Cup at my work. You may notice I used the glitter paper for my title and I think it turned out quite well. The next layout is called Bloom and these are photos of our dwarf Anna. And you will notice that the fruit is quite small compared to previous year's photos. And I think it's because we don't have the second apple tree. Apparently, you should have two trees. I think it helps with the fruit. So that's something that we may look at in the future. I've used stickers for my title and my clusters, finished off with a few gems. I have some word stickers down here. So all I'm going to do is probably write the, the variety of the tree and the date that the photos were taken. The next layout is Share Your Beauty with the World. This was a Scraps to Embellishments video that I did this month for Ginger's Corner. And the theme was King for a Day, where you could create embellishments, anything to do with the man that you love. My husband, he grows dragon fruit. So I decided that I was going to make embellishments and do a layout on the dragon fruit. The base is another one of those that I shared on my kit video. Where I used a scrap and just made a base. And again, I just found a photo to match the base page just to get it used.
layout four. This is another scraps to embellishments layout for Ginger's Corner. This week was Heart School and You Make My Heart Sing. As you can see, I've got a row of hearts at the top. Finished off with some stickers for my clusters. I've got the music notes. And I've got another cluster down the bottom here. All I need to do is the journaling, which will be where we were and the date. Here is my last layout and it's called Sun Kissed and the photos are of Woodgate Beach which is about an hour's drive north of where we live. We decided to go and have lunch and admire the view of the beach. As you can see, I used Vicky Booten's mixed media paper to do all the work in the background. And these are scraps. This is a journaling card I cut in half just so the colours are balanced for the clusters. I fussy cut the, the little cards from the Simple Stories sheet. And finished off with some word stickers and enamel dots. I also need to do the journaling on this one. Which I am going to do before I put these layouts away. Otherwise, it's just not going to get done. So I'm pretty happy with the fact I managed to get 10 layouts out of this stash kit I put together. There isn't much left, so let me show you what I do have left and what my plans are to do with the leftovers. These are the tickets from Pink Fresh. I think I only managed to use two of these from the sheet. So the others that have been cut up are in my little container. And I plan on moving this to my next kit just so I've got the chance to use them up. And the colours also match for the next season, which for us is fall and autumn. This is the sticker sheet from Summer Farmhouse. I still have a few left on this sheet. I might just keep it to the side because I would like to try and use this up so it's gone. So I'm hoping there will be some layouts along the way where I can use the stickers. This is the other sticker sheet I had. Again, I would like to try and use this up. I do think there is a layout that would be coming up to do with farms and things. So that will be my opportunity then to 
use these stickers because this is another sheet I would like to try and use up this year. The same again, I'm going to leave this one out because this will pair with the other sticker sheets that I've just shared and most likely these stickers will go on that same layout that I'm thinking of. I'll show you what 12 by 12 papers I have left. This is the, the glitter specialty sheet that I used for my title for the Melbourne Cup layout. I th am thinking that I might, I think I might include this in my next kit and try and move it along to get it used. So these are the papers I have left. There's this one from Amy Tangerine. This one's from Echo Park. Forty nine a market Paige Evans. That is all that's left. I might keep these to the side to see if I can get them used in my upcoming kits. I also have my cardstock pad that I will put back in with my cardstock. These are my scraps and most of them are branding strips. I might keep these to the side and see if I can use them. That is all that I have left. I'm pretty impressed with that. The paper pads are just going to go back into my stash. The other embellishments I have is these frames from Pink Fresh, which will go back into my stash. And I do think on future layouts, I need to push myself to use these because I do love them so I'm not quite sure why they're not making it onto layouts does this happen to everyone else this is my little container with the die cuts from my layouts I plan on keeping this on my desk because I would like to try and use these instead of them just sitting in with my supplies. The enamel dots, I didn't bring all of these in when I initially shared the kit. So these will just stay to the side. The journaling cards from Coco Vanilla, I'm going to put back with my supplies.
I'm just going to keep these letters aside for future titles. These sprinkles will probably stay to the side for other layouts. These are the enamel dots that I did pull in for the kit. I will put these back in my stash. And same with the stars. I hope you've enjoyed seeing the kit and the layouts that I created for summer. I am so happy with how I managed to use most of my kit. I am surprised. I'm also happy with the layouts that I've created. I hope you come back soon and see my Ottoman Fall Kit. It is a it has been put together a little differently to this one and I look forward to showing it to you soon. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.